Morning everyone, Flanker Jack here again. It's been a while since I've done any gear videos and I want to get back in the swing of things, especially with the opening of Evike Las Vegas this weekend. So I've been getting back into my gear, still playing golf, still doing everything else. But I wanted to showcase a new piece of kit that I've got. And I think it's a great addition to anyone's plans so forgive the background noise planes air conditioning all that fun stuff going on right now but in a nutshell i'm not a fan of wearing backpacks with gear first things i'm not out in the field that too much longer than i need to be and i would like to carry everything for essentially about six seven eight hour milsim event went to a couple milsims in the last six months Definitely enjoying that and definitely using it to test out kit. So what I want to talk about are the back panels that I use. And you've seen this before in other kit videos, so bear with me. But for the last eight, seven or eight years, I've really been using this two different types. This right here is my MDOM uh, vehicle hydration carrier. I've honestly had this close to 10 years. And obviously it hasn't seen combat use or anything like that, but it has seen a lot of use and events. And this is this has sort of been my go-to back panel. Right now it's just on the back of my ATS carrier. If it's a two or three liter bladder very snugly, you have a little bit of extra storage and obviously the molly webbing to add and subtract as you need. And that one's been my go-to for quite a few years now because it's just super well built and it serves its purpose so get that out the way and then on right now i just have it on my chest rig set up here is the haley flat pack everyone knows what that is it's been around for a while and it's more or less become the industry standard for a back panel so everyone knows the features got a pouch got that you can put your hydration pouch in here and it's expandable so very useful um i was looking for something <clears throat> comparable but maybe a bit more carrying capacity if you're looking at any war footage right now whether it's gaza or ukraine you're seeing a lot of extra kit being worn on the back and if you look at kind of how the israelis are setting up their kit here they, with the the this industry standard right now is the agilite map pack right map two or three i don't know the name i was looking for something similar a friend of mine had one and i took a look at it and it was not exactly what i was looking for so obviously with my need to spend money i don't have and get a company that I definitely believe in right now. I went with Plaid Attack. Plaid Attack, again, out of Australia. You've seen them in my videos before. They, they produce kit for the Australian Army. It is amazing. And again, dollar for dollar, I'm going to say this is right now the best kit out there on the market. It, it can compete with any of the major brands. And again, the features and the extras you get when you buy their kit is what keeps me coming back. So this right here is their Echo Mark II medical pack. They do sort of a different, a whole different line of, of uh, back panels, backpacks, whatever you want to call them, to go onto your kit, uh, whether it's an Alice style pack called the Bullock. They have a hydration pack, which is very similar to the MDOM one. But I was looking for something to not only carry my water bladder for a long event, but then having to carry maybe some extra, whether it's food, medical, and I don't want to have to carry a backpack. You know, if I'm wearing a plate carrier, don't want to carry a backpack. I understand the need to take it off, but if you go to these events, I see people taking off their backpack every five seconds, and I just don't want to deal with it, along with the comfort of having to wear a backpack over a plate carrier. Not in the Marines. I'm not doing 20 mile rucks in full kit. You know, I am just using it as a casual weekend warrior. So, anyway, back to this. So, Plaid Attack Mark II, it's a fairly standard panel here. Um, 
just to compare it in size to the flat pack. Bring this back in. So this is the flat pack. This is the, so it's a bit wider and it's a bit bigger. For the wire harness that I use for my chest rigs, it is gonna be a bit wider than that. It's not gonna fit exactly flush, but there's molly on the back so we can figure that part out. So what do you get with this? this? This is what sold me on this. I was looking for something with a larger capacity, water, and also the ability to add some medical. So here's what you get with this. This is why I love this company. Obviously, you've got full uh, panel of molly, small patch on the back. My only gripe is this is too small for the flags I have, so I've got to go to my smaller flags, which I'm not a fan of, but that's just vanity. You have two columns of molly on each side to add and subtract. And these are actually, the way these are stitched, these naturally will fold in. So you can add compression straps if you have any extra or some um, shock cord or something to compress it down even further. But I think the way this naturally falls is gonna be very, very good. You have a zipper here, and this is a full length pocket for anything you might wanna put in there. Uh, this zipper, just like the Mark V chest rig, this is removable. And because it's plat attack, they actually send you a 556 five, ammo insert. So if you wanted to, instead of maybe putting medical or, or survival gear in here, you wanted to put that, now you've got three extra mags. And this is, yeah, it's, it's stretchy. So you could probably even get away with like smoke grenades or other items, demo if that's, your, that's what you want to use. So excellent. This comes with it, by the way, no extra charge. On the bottom, again, thank God for these guys, you have, it actually comes with a rain cover. So, God forbid you live in a place where it rains, you can put that on. And this is fully removable. So you can take that off if you don't need it. Now you have a little extra, small little pocket in the back here for anything you might need. Excellent. There's a little, uh, little toggle here for you. So again, nice job, plat attack. On the back, you have their straps. I have every piece of kit I have that has these straps on, it is locked in solid. It does not move, it does not shake. And then here, right here, you have one of those quick release tubing. So if you, if you wanted just to attach it to something with the quick release, all you had to do was pull this and it comes off. I will be removing this. I'm not gonna use a quick release because the problem with quick release is how do you put it back on when you're done with it? So uh, it doesn't, now a quick disclaimer, it does not come with shoulder straps. You have to buy those separately. They're not super expensive to add on. So you can go ahead and buy those. Um, I need to find the Haley Strategic straps that I got with the pack. I, they're in, buried in a box somewhere. I will, I will see if they fit this because everyone uses the same standard, but you know, I'm not gonna cut this off, but you know, I'm, I'm probably not gonna use this as a uh, backpack, but I will be attaching this probably to my plate carrier. All right, so the main compartment, we have the full clamshell zipper. Ah, very, very good. And then when you open this up, so the first thing I, I noticed about it, you have I was a little worried about this. The pictures didn't quite do it justice on the website, but you have Molly, Molly here, plus you have female Velcro. So if you have any kind of Velcro pouches or panels, all you got to do is put it in here, or you can put, you have a little thing for your hydration carrier and anything like that. So plenty of, plenty of space. You also have three, actually, forgive me, you have four pockets. So you have three small ones here, and then you have a larger one, and this, this is a pass-through, so you can, you can go from any side. And then this has some rubber straps in it for medical kit, tourniquets, anything else you might. So very full-featured, and that's why I love it. So that's really it. I'm going to put it on the plate carrier this weekend. But again, this is Plat Attack. This is the Echo mark two med pack now they on the website you they have a mark three 
which is similar in size, but it actually comes with a full suite of uh, internal organizers. It comes with some pouches for the outside. Um, I didn't need all that. I've got 